So welcome to my videos. This is my first attempt to set up a setup uh, tutorial video on the radio and this uh, latest technology uh, Express LRS. I just got hold myself of a Radio Master TX12. Um, according to the internet and the YouTube uh, reviewers, this is for the first timers. I don't think uh, the build quality is just for first timers. This is a well built radio. So just got hold of this yesterday. And at the same time, package delivered the 2.4 gigahertz happy model express LRS uh, module, which uh, perfectly, perfectly fits this radio. It's a perfect pair so happy with this setup so when you open the radio Welcome to open TX. so I already flash the nightly build open TX firmware in this radio so it will run um, compatible with the Express LRS module switch warning so I have my uh, D8 model for my tiny whoops and uh, out of the box uh, with the SD card contents from the OpenTX nightly builds you get the four default models TX12, Quad, Delta and Heli. So I added the ELRS, Express LRS and then the D8 mode so we'll focus on the um, Express LRS. Okay, this radio really like this one. But sometimes it goes over or under, but uh, this metal scroller call this a scroller. And uh, the TX12 does not come with all sensors, gimbals, but uh, judging from the feel. This is very acceptable and very nice. The overall build of this radio is really nice. It is perfect pair with this uh, small lady hands of mine. And um, I had the TX16S before. It's quite big, bigger for my liking, so I sold it. And uh, I do have the TBS Tango 2 quite the game controller the feel of having this TX12 is similar to my FR Sky X9 Lite anyway so the first thing you have to do after flashing the radio with its uh, nightly build the Open TX uh, nightly build is to download the Lua script for the Express LRS. So if you press menu, a uh, system menu, and you go to, so you can find there the Express LRS other tools number nine. You press on that. So there. So this is um, a flash firmware already to make it compatible so the happy model right now is running at the fastest packet rate of 500 hertz and um, the you can change from here from the Lua script the telemetry ratio and I turned it off because uh, I was um, saving this for a racing um, and power module you have your 10 25 50 100 50 and 500 and even a one watt I haven't tried the the power yet um, unfortunately my receivers are still coming uh, they're still coming from Banggood and uh, I just wanted to show you this uh, setup first on the radio We'll have another video for the receivers and the radio itself.
so you can see from the RF frequency I'm using 2.4 gigahertz here and then you have the bind and then the Wi-Fi update uh, uh, selection now uh, let's try to take a pause here and rewind everything before taking into consideration the functioning uh, module here first thing you have to do is uh, you look at the express seller as wiki and um, so you just google it express LRS wiki and one thing you have to go to this there's a it's, it's full of information here it's quite overwhelming but for the for the purpose of this video we'll just have to specifically um, make uh, steps on how to flush the uh, OpenTX and then the Express LRS on the Hoppy model uh, module. So if you press on uh, so from the wiki, press in OpenTX, X night please. So first you have to have your companion. So I think this is this video is more of the um, advanced uh, category of the viewers. So I would expect or I would uh, presume that you know how to flash your OpenTX nightlies into your OpenTX radios. But uh, um, anyway, the Express LRS wiki have a link. So if you're using Mac. As I am using Mac, so you have to download the OpenTX companion like this one. So then you flash it with the most recent night list. So going back now, th this is the Lua script. Press on the Lua script there. So you have to right click or double click and then save this file and then save it in the SD card of the radio under the scripts and tools menu so you can scripts and tools menu so you can as I've shown you you can see it on the radio coming up on the systems menu so once you have that the tricky part of Express LRS is that you need to have the configurator set up so there's a quick start on the right column configurator setup so if you open the configurator setup you have to download the latest configurator application it's quite easy like any other application you download it and then install it in your Mac or your PC once you've downloaded it like this one this will appear express lrs configurator so there i think this is the most recent one the version 0.5.1 and they have the official releases now happy model comes with the uh, pre-flash firmware which i don't use at all the advantage of the pre-flash firmware is uh, out of the box if you open it and then you use the receiver that comes with the EP1 or the EP2 and PP uh, receivers you don't have to flash it it can bind on uh, immediately automatically but I haven't tried that I've tried the, uh, the uh, configurator way which is I would recommend because the releases the firmware releases are too fast you cannot cope up you cannot uh, keep up with the the progress so from here i've noticed today um today's of today today's june 7 um, the release candidate version is eight but uh, i noticed that it is not the target is not available for the 
happy model uh, 2.4 oh there it is now i just saw this today yesterday it was not still available so we can do this so the good thing about it is if you have the so let's start with the tx because i still have the i didn't still don't have the receiver still have the tx so you can flash the tx via the uart which is i think you need soldering and then uh, via the wi-fi which is the good thing about this one um and we can do this this is how we do it so we do this so um select that one okay so you can also have an option here download uh, the lua script from the configurator itself uh, not necessarily on the website but you can download it and uh, put it in the sd card so um, default this one regular domain the fine binding phrase is up to you but uh, i use just ob fpv1234 and then this compatibility options is checked uh, i usually don't use the no sync on arm and then this one is uh, checked and then use 500 hertz which is the fastest packet rate and then we enable telemetry and after this you will build so basically it's building the firmware with the uh, passphrase which is um, custom custom built so it's a user defined passphrase it's like a password that's a good thing about this uh, express seller as you don't have to physically bind the module and the receiver um, once you flash them with your passphrase then it uh, automatically binds when you turn on the radio with the module and then with the receiver on your quad so it usually takes a little while so and if it even longer if it's uh, the very first time you build the firmware but generally it's acceptable um duration so in a little while it will come up and create a firmware there you go so that's a firmware with the recent uh, rc8 release candidate 8 firmware so that means success so so we i usually copy this one so i don't get uh, or uh, even um, transfer this one so I don't get confused I uh, transfer this to a different folder so that's it is so that's a TX and then I will transfer it here so there was a firmware I had before with a two point Oh, with the RC7 so I will replace that one okay so there it is now on your radio go to the systems menu to the ELRS tools and then press on Wi-Fi update so you connect to so look at the Wi-Fi <coughs> So it will look for the for the Wi-Fi built-in Wi-Fi of the module. Takes a little while sometimes, like this one. So you have to connect to it. There you go. So it appears there. Express LRS TX module. Okay. So once you are connected prompts immediately welcome to your express alerts update page so you have to choose the file and you know where it was uh, saved uh, but 
on my experience this prompt window takes uh, a little longer than opening a new window of the browser and from the browser you just type then point zero point zero point one then that's it you don't need to use that prompt window and then from here choose the file that's where the file is it's today 6 10 p.m. you choose that and then update press and update and then you'll have a blue bar here on your um, browser on the status of the update sometimes it takes a while to do this but uh, wait for a few more seconds so once this is updated sometimes it does that so, so it connected again to my um, to my home network and on the radio you see it immediately changed the a series of numbers that I think that corresponds to the firmware update and that's uh, the most recent one so this is a fully functional radio with the TX module running the Express LRS from Happy Model running with the pocket rate of 500 hertz. And uh, we we'll wait for the receivers to arrive so we can bind it and uh, you will see how easy it is to bind the Express LRS module in the receivers. So I'll see you in the next one.